let's be honest, home servers are kind of boring, aren't they? Don't get me wrong, I get the benefit of having my favorite movie stored locally so I can stream it as often and as frequently as I want. Gotcha! But other than that, what do I really need this thing for? Which got me thinking, could we make home servers a little more exciting? What if it could do more than just store files? What if you could play Minecraft on it? Well lads, this ain't my first rodeo. And I have enough reason to believe that with a little bit of tinkering and the right device, it may just be possible to play Minecraft on a home server. What the crap, dude? Now I know what you're thinking, Zach, isn't a server just a stack of PCs probably powerful enough to run Minecraft? To which I would reply, yes, that's, ex that's exactly what it is. And then we have this, the old NAS. It's like a server for your home. <laughs> Network attached storage devices have been around for a while now. And these days they're most commonly used to back up and store files. And on the odd occasion, they're great as a home media server. At its core, a NAS is just a really simple PC. But ever since I was a young lad making YouTube videos, I've always dreamt of having one of these bad boys. Hilariously, I used it for like a month and then I just stuck to using like these things and uh, Dropbox as my backup solution. And so the poor NAS has been sitting in my cupboard collecting dust for the longest time. But that's where Minecraft gets involved. See, this NAS from Synology technically has enough juice built in to run Minecraft, but it's missing one major thing, a graphics card and a display port out, uh, which makes sense. You don't really need a video output for a home server, that'd be crazy. But it does mean Minecraft becomes a little harder to play. And that's where this bad boy comes in. This is a Zimmer board a completely hackable home server. All of the brains of this are inside of this, but it does have one advantage over a standard media server. It has a display port out, which means we can then try and play Minecraft. I will be surprised if Minecraft runs at all on this thing, but, and a big but, <laughs> if it can run Minecraft, it may even be able to run Minecraft with shaders turned on. That is nuts, but there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Plug the power in. We've got a light, oh, hey. Okay, so just like that, we have access to the Zimmer board. And as you can see, there's a login prompt for something called Casa OS. But to get Minecraft to run on this thing, we need to install a different operating system. We're gonna try and install Linux, more specifically, Ubuntu. Ubuntu? Ubuntu. I, I, I never know. <laughs> Hopefully with that installed, we should be able to download Minecraft and just run it. I do need a keyboard and mouse. Do I even have a USB keyboard and mouse? Surely. No. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. Wait a second, actually, I think I might have one. Ah, now I just need a mouse. I do have this, but I don't think it's gonna work nearly as well as this. Yeah, this is, uh, this is my keyboard from my iMac G3. It's still one of my favorite keyboards to use, though it has seen better days. <laughs> Plug this in. Hey, okay, we've got something. Fantastic. What I now need to do is download Ubuntu. Okay, so here I have Ubuntu on a USB and apparently all we have to do is plug it into the Zimmer board and uh, yeah, run the install process just like any other PC, which I guess makes sense. <laughs> apparently I just need to hold F11 and delete. Oh, yep, that's the USB, okay. Try to install Ubuntu. That feels a little too simple. Yeah. Mm, that's not good. Okay, let's try this again. Let me unplug, plug it back in. Okay, I have no idea what I just did. That's weird, but I mean, it's working so far. Don't mind me, I'm just a little skeptical because every time I try and run Minecraft on literally anything, it's always just that little bit too hard. Or in the case of the Rabbit R1, impossibly difficult to make happen. But it looks like Ubuntu's loading. Is something happening? I don't know. <laughs> Just like that. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way Ubuntu's installed like that. Okay, wait up. This is the install screen. So technically it's not installed. Not yet. I wonder how hot this little thing's gonna get with all this happening. Actually, let's see if we have any internet connection because I'm currently using my MacBook's Wi-Fi, routing that through to the Zimmer board. That works. Okay, so let's try and run the install again. Okay, so absolute stitch up. Uh, you bunch of kept getting stuck at the keyboard settings. Seems like a weird spot to get stuck, but anyway. Instead, I'm switching to handy dandy Lubuntu, which is just Ubuntu, but the light version. 
go figure. And the good news is both can run Minecraft. So really it's gonna be a test of the Zimmer board to see if it can run Minecraft. It's got solid enough specs, but I don't know how much you can get out of a single board PC. I've never had one, so I guess we'll find out. Oh, here we go. Hey. Lubuntu. I have a special place in my heart for Lubuntu. The last time I used Lubuntu was when I tried to run Minecraft with shaders on on my sister's terrible laptop. Imagine the Zimmer board can run Minecraft with shaders on better than that thing. I guess we'll find out. So I think we're swapping out the inbuilt operating system for Lubuntu. I think. Oh gosh, I hope this works. Install. And away it goes. I guess only time will tell if Linux gets installed. Okay, I think it's done. Let's see if it reboots. Okay, I was about to say it didn't work, but it flipping worked, I think. Hey, we're back, okay. That's working really well, that's really snappy. Now there's two ways we can approach this. Of course, I wanna know how well the actual Java version of Minecraft runs. I feel like that's the only version that really matters. But before we push the Zimmer board to the edge, <laughs> I kinda wanna know what the baseline functional version of Minecraft would be like. Of course, I'm talking about Classic Cube, the remake of Minecraft that doesn't need Java. So let's start with that because I have a feeling it should run and it should run well. Let's just run Classic and let's just go single player. I did not expect that to load so freaking quick. Are you serious, dude? I know it's just a single board PC, but still, I cannot believe how quickly that just loaded up. Dude, I am so impressed right now. It is getting a little hot though, the old Zimmer board, understandably. It's running at 60 frames though. Render distance set to fast, so let's drop it to tiny. I mean, let's set it to normal. Okay, 110 frames, 111. Dude, are you freaking kidding me right now? Again, I shouldn't be so surprised. The specs of this thing are so solid for a single board PC, but 130 frames? What the frick, dude, this is sick. I cannot get over this little thing. It's so wild. If you added a battery pack to this, the things you could do with this tiny little PC. Okay, so now that we know that works, I really wanna try Minecraft. Surely Java Edition works. Maybe not as well as Classic Cube, but surely it still works. We need to do a few extra things to get Minecraft Java Edition working. Uh, the first thing being, we need to install Java. <laughs> okay, let's install all of that. Now I'm not gonna be using the normal Minecraft launcher here because I wanna see how far we can push this thing. I'm downloading a mod pack called Fabulously Optimized. I just like the name. Also, apparently it runs a bunch better. Let's launch. Will Minecraft Java Edition work? Uh, 50%. Nothing is happening. But it says it's currently running. We're getting a few errors, <laughs> which isn't great, but technically things are still loading. So we've got movement, we've got action. Yes, let's go. We're loaded up, single player. The world is loading slowly but surely. I could help it out here by running a server on my Mac, which is hilarious to think about that I would run the server on my Mac and then run Minecraft on the server, but it's loaded. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? It's a little choppy, but let's change some of these settings and see if we can help it out. Video settings, <laughs> let's see what we can do. Oh my gosh, okay, let's turn the chunk distance down. Turn all of it down and, you know, gotta change that FOV, baby. Okay, not bad, not bad. 72, F dude, 72 FPS on this. What the crap, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's so playable. It is so freaking playable, dude. 154 FPS? All right, hold up, let's get some shaders. I can't believe we are running Minecraft on this. We are running Minecraft on this little thing. I feel like we should download some shader packs. I just wanna know. I just wanna know how well it works. There's no way. Should we go the lowest to the most hardcore? Yeah, let's try that. So let's try potato shaders. Oh. Get that. Bro, get the heck out of here, dude. What the frick? Okay, okay, yes, it's 18 frames. What the crap, dude? This is running on a freaking home server, dude. That is so ridiculous. Okay, let's see if we can push it further. <laughs> Miniature shader, let's see. Wait, this runs even better? I mean, this is a more subtle shader, but still, we are getting 49, 50 frames. Bro, 50 frames, are you serious? I've never tried some of these before, so I don't even know what they actually look like, but I do know some of these are pretty hardcore. That looks insane, but at a very big cost of about, of about six FPS. That is insane. Oh gosh, this could be messy. 
<laughs> what the heck, bro? Six FPS. That is ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. More than one frame is outrageous. Oh, it's getting a bit warm. Oh gosh. I hope I don't melt this thing. It definitely was not designed for this. Hey, 10 frames? 10 frames and Minecraft looks this good on a freaking home server, dude. I just can't, dude. That is just ridiculous. It's unnecessary. No one needs to do this. It's beyond stupid, but it works. It technically is, it works very well. Uh-oh, I think I might've cooked it. I think we might've cooked it, lads. I think we might've cooked it. <laughs> it loaded up. Still eight FPS? Bro, what the, so insane. I just actually cannot believe how well that works. But honestly, even just how well vanilla look in Minecraft runs. I mean, we're getting 137 frames. That's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's so unnecessary. 100 plus FPS on a freaking home server PC. This little thing is insane. And if you're looking for something to muck around with, make sure you check it out. Thank you to Zimmerboard for sending me this thing. It's kind of, it's, there are so many things that we can do with this. Like we could use this thing to make the minecart that we built autonomous. Wouldn't that be insane? <laughs> Would that be insane?